and in this cardboard I have made a hole and if you see the shape of the hole it is in the shape of the sign of plus. The intention is I will let sunlight pass through this hole this opening and on the other side I will collect that light and see the pattern that light makes. Similarly, I will have more cardboards with different shapes. Okay, so, Ranjit is holding the screen and sunlight is passing through this hole and on the other side it is going and making a pattern on the screen and as expected the pattern made by the light on the screen is also in the shape of that mathematical plus sign. Now, see what happens if the screen is taken away from this opening. So, Ranjit is taking the screen away you can see that the boundaries are diffusing and by now it is difficult to recognize that there was a plus shape and now you can see at this distance it is almost a circular disc. The opening is in the shape of plus sign, but the light that falls on the screen going through the same opening is making a circular disc on the screen. Let us change the shape of the opening. This opening is diamond type parallelogram and if you see on the screen you have that diamond shaped spot and now Ranjit take away the screen increase the distance and you see you do not recognize any more that parallelogram type diamond type shape and once again it has become a circular disc. One more shape. So, that spot becomes circular once the distance between the screen and the opening is large independent of what is the shape of opening. That bright circular disc is in fact image of the sun. The sun's disc is circular and therefore, this is also circular. But when you bring this screen closer to this opening then it is the opening that decides what kind of shape will be there of the bright spot. You can understand it if you do little bit of drawing. Suppose, in the op in that uh, opening you only have a single point opening what will happen? Wherever you place your screen that sun that disc will be imaged as a circular disc here at all distances if it is a single point opening. A actual opening can be thought of as a collection of these single point openings and therefore, each of this point will make a circle. Now, if the screen is closed all these circles are small small circles. Suppose uh, these are the suppose your opening is triangular. So, these are the points which are you take these as the points this is all triangular each point is making a circular disc, but if the screen is closed those discs are small. So, you have a disc like this 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 disc like this and so on. So, all this will be there from each point you make circular discs, but then that triangular shape is still maintained that triangular shape is still maintained, but if the screen is away and these circles becomes large then if you make that drawing you have centers here you have centers here, but then you are drawing large circles you are drawing large circles like this from these what you will see is a round thing a circular thing. Make shadow using a different light source. This is a laser light source and green light is emitted and it is going on the wall. The size of the beam is small from the spot on the wall you can see how much is the size or you can see it somewhere here. So, this is the size and the obstacle that I am bringing is much wider than the size of the beam this is opaque. So, if light goes in straight lines then uh, the whole beam will fall on this object opaque object and nothing will go there. So, let us see here it is the entire light is now falling on this object opaque object and everything is blocked and nothing goes on the wall. So, light does travel in straight lines less than the diameter of this beam. Now, we will be putting a thin wire in front of this light beam. So, and it will be thin. 
so it will not block the whole of the light only the light which falls on the that thin wire should be blocked and other light should pass and you can expect the shadow of the wire so we have fixed a thin wire on this uh, cd disk and you carefully see the central hole on the vertical diameter of the central hole you can see the wire and our plan is to send this light beam on this wire so from the sides light will go and apparently perhaps we can expect that light will be blocked by this wire and a shadow will form on the other side so i will request ranjit my associate to fix up this uh, wire and this uh, light source on some stand so that light falls on this wire this is the point directly in front of the wire and wire is opaque doesn't allow light to pass through so light should have been stopped there at the wire and here you should have gotten a dark but you have maximum intensity here and then you see 1 2 3 on left side 1 2 3 on right side you can keep on counting there are different uh, zones of high intensity and then low intensity again high intensity again low intensity and so on on left of this bright spot at the center and right of the bright spot of the center so this is the shadow of a thin wire so what happened when we used a pen a pencil varieties of objects in front of a light beam light was partially blocked by the object and there was a darkness in front of that object but here the things are very very different light does not go in straight line paths in this particular experiment so when does light go in straight line paths in what conditions i cannot use this approximation for that you also know that light is a wave and there is something called wavelength of light so the openings or obstacles size of these openings and obstacles and the wavelength they will decide whether light can be treated as rays going in straight lines and stopping wherever an opaque object is encountered or light will show some other character and the rule is that if the size of the opening or obstacle is much much larger than the wavelength 100 times 1000 times 10000 times 100000 times then you can treat this light as as rays going in straight lines and those straight lines you call rays and we call this approximation as ray optics approximation and that was the case when i used bigger objects to form shadows